Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing absolute value functions. I'm going to graph each equation. So, if I was given this equation, y equals negative absolute value of x minus 1 plus 2. Okay? Well, first thing I want to do here is find the vertex. Now, a lot of that's pretty easy to find right here. Our vertex, right, our h value is a positive 1. Right, could be the minus in between right there, so the h value is right there, that positive 1. That k value is just a positive 2. So we have a vertex of 1, comma 2. Graph that right here. 1, up 2, boom, got my vertex, 1, comma 2. Right? Then we look at the a value that's in front of the absolute value right there. Okay, That's a negative 1. Negative tells me it's an upside down z, or like a roof shape. And it, the slope is just negative 1, so we go down 1. To the right one, down one to the right one. Do the same thing to the left. Now we mirror that, right? We mirror that shape right here. Down one to the left one, down one to the left one. Connect our dots to make our V shape. And there we have our graph and our final answer. So let's recap. We're given y equals negative absolute value of x minus 1. And then we have a plus 2 right there. Okay? Well, we have. We have to find our vertex, which is 1, 2. Got that right there. Vertex 1, 2. Then put that vertex right there. Connect, uh, we are our a value is our slope of the negative 1, negative, upside down v, right, like a roof. Down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1. Mirror that to the left. Okay, down 1 to the left 1. All right. Then it connects to our dots. Maybe the v is going down this way, our rays. And then we have, again, our final answer.